Come on, mate! Cool. Get to the microwave in as few steps as possible. And open the door before the microwave dings. There's five minutes on the clock. So the microwave is under that tree. Where have you plugged it in, then? It's the generator behind the tree. I didn't know those trees had generators. <laughs> as few steps as possible. As few steps as possible. A few steps as possible. The microwave starts now. OK, can I just give my coat? Yeah. Put it on if you want, mate. Nice in the sun, isn't it? Yeah. Right, um, I'm going to roll there. <laughs> oh, quite a lot, quite far away, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I feel dizzy. <laughs> it gets you really dizzy quick, that. This is the future, mate. <laughs> I'm going to be covered in goose, <laughs> aren't I? <laughs> oh. <sighs> I feel like I might be sick. <laughs> <sighs> oh, I've just had a coffee as well. <laughs> right, the head's going to explode. <laughs> <laughs> What other ways can I get there without stepping? <laughs> Just have to roll there, don't I? <laughs> well, I think... Oh! <sighs> oh sorry. Arguably, it's a more efficient way of transporting yourself about. Well, you, if more you... fun. I bet, don't have a big coffee beforehand. I thought it was me sick up my eyes. <laughs> I don't, you must have a very weak constitution. I don't know why <laughs> drinking a massive coffee and then rolling I around in goose would make you feel sick. <laughs> <laughs>
Is it working? No, I... I wish it was. But it isn't working. Peter up. <laughs> P51D Mustang. Is that a good one? Yeah. Make the most special effect. Make the most special effect. You have one hour. Your time starts now. A special effect? So they've got green screen. Yeah. If one of us wore a green outfit, we could fly this aeroplane across this amazing landscape that we put in later. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you'd be invisible. <laughs> but you're well, it's pretty special. Yeah. I could try and be King Kong. Yeah, that's what I mean. So then so you like, come uh, in, like, really angry. I can do a chimp face. So it's like this horrible monkey. <laughs> <laughs> it's like coming. Uh, very incredible special effect movie. It's just the brother and sister, Rob and Sarah's film to go. You ready? <laughs> yeah, let's see the twins. Here we go. <laughs> hey, Rob, do you like my new shoes? What shoes? <laughs> my shoes have disappeared. No, they haven't. <laughs> these aren't mine. What about these? I've never seen these before in my life. Here you go, then. Oh, Rob, this is ridiculous. Can you just give me back my shoes? Coming right up. Oh, phew. Oh, Thank gosh you've stopped mucking around with shoes. And I asked you not to use magic in the house. We're not in the house. <laughs> Rob! How are you going to magic yourself out of a divorce? I'll find a way. <laughs> My shoes. <laughs> Introducing them as brother and sisters taking a sinister twist, isn't it? <laughs> shoes are the least of our worries. <laughs> <laughs> I think regardless of their relationship, it's a fairly sinister film. I'm... <laughs> I'm intrigued. What was your understanding of it, Al? What do you think was going on there? Well, they were doing a thing where they were making shoes appear and disappear. Mm. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your review? Three stars, <laughs> Al. But it was also the emotional story. This poor woman who has to live with some... this guy who keeps making shoes appear and disappear, and then there's a divorce, and then there's a mm. new coupling. Yeah. There were some issues there, wasn't there? I mean, it was, uh, what issues? A gay, it was a gay man trapped in a heterosexual marriage, presumably. Uh, yes. Oh, just maybe... Yeah. Hence his obsession with shoes. Yeah, why are we talking about my private life at work? <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was a very nuanced character, though, the... <laughs> <laughs> the insane, winking gay magician. <laughs> Yeah. Is it going to pop up? <laughs> that was our order, man. Scary clown. Do you want to see his horrible face? Is that a saw, isn't it? Tonight, we want to play a game. <laughs> Little things are more fun, are they? <laughs> Surprise Alex. Surprise Alex when he emerges from his shed in one hour. Your time starts now. Could I move the shed? <laughs> no, oh, that was what this is a metaphor for, like, it's a surprise. How far away do his family live? Go and kidnap his children from school. <laughs> <laughs> he comes out the shed and they'll be like, that would surprise him, wouldn't it? <laughs> Are his kids in school? What if he kidnapped his kids? <laughs> tied them to a chair inside the shed. I mean, that would surprise him. Uh, let's see how Rob did. Okay. Let's see if he was surprising. Alex, you've been a bad boy.
There's quite a lot going on there. Quite a lot. <laughs> oh, are you surprised? It's quite surprising, yeah. <laughs> quite surprising. Thank you, Rob. Sorry. Thank you for that. I'm sorry, you're right. Are you wet. <laughs> Well, I mean, incredible, right? Mm. <laughs> he was reasonably caring. After he did it, he said, are you wet? Which is nice. <laughs> when you were cackling dressed as a nan on that yeah. sofa, I, all, I thought I saw your teeth visibly growing. You were so pleased. <laughs> <laughs> they do when I get really excited. <laughs> I mean, it's just mad. Where did the nan thing come from? Uh, I mean, basically, when we were filming that, like, I'd had a kid the week before and I'd about ten hours sleep and I think I'd gone mad. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was at like, the beginning of a breakdown. We've got our winner. There he is. <laughs> For more Taskmaster, subscribe now.